Look at this sad, boring Firefox right here. So this is the basic default UI of Firefox. And don't get me wrong, it's fine, but it could be so much more. And one of the hidden features of Firefox that a lot of people don't know about is that you can completely customize your Firefox theme and you can just completely reimagine your browser the way it looks. Well, I guess let me just show you what you can do with Firefox. So you could have this basic theme right here, or you could make Firefox super minimalistic, make everything on one line and remove almost every button so that you can use your browser exclusively with keyboard shortcuts. I think this is pretty cool. You can make your Firefox a gaming browser. Wow, this is epic, guys. I think this looks pretty cool, and there are a lot of nice flourishes just to make Firefox look pretty nice. Maybe you want it to look like some other browser, like Microsoft Edge. This is almost a carbon copy of Microsoft Edge. You can do other things, like make it look like Chrome. The sky is really the limit. There are tons of different themes that you can try out. And you can even make your own theme, like I have here. So this is my personal theme that I built myself. It's kind of minimalistic, but it still has some buttons here. And so in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can find and install various Firefox themes across the internet. And you can even build your own, but that'll probably be for another video. Because if you know even some basic CSS, then you can really completely customize your own browser. And of course, most of these are just aesthetic changes just to make your browser look cooler. That is probably the main point of this, but it can also be more useful. Maybe you have a smaller computer monitor and you want to save some space. Well, a minimalistic theme like this can give you more screen real estate. So I think that this will be something that a lot of people find very useful. Now, first things first, you might be wondering, where can I find a Firefox theme? And there are a few different places on the internet that you can find one. Probably the best place is to go to Reddit. Don't you hate when you just get into some niche topic or hobby and the best resource for that is just a subreddit? Well, that is the case in Firefox CSS. And so I highly recommend checking out the subreddit r slash Firefox CSS. That is where I am here. Maybe go to the top posts of the year or of all time and you can scroll down to find some pretty cool themes. That's how I found this. You might like this Firefox one bar theme. And there is also this Firefox CSS store that may be of interest to you. I'll leave a link to these in the description. But this is nice in that it also includes screenshots of all of these. So maybe you'd like something like this. And they just have the download link right here that will take you to the GitHub where you can download the theme. But I do have to give a little disclaimer before I get you too hyped up about some of these themes because a lot of these themes are not currently maintained. So Firefox updates all the time and changes things around about their browser. And so maybe a thing that you really like, it might not work if it hasn't been updated for like two years or so. So this one has been updated pretty recently, two months ago on January 26. So this one will probably work if you give this a try. But some of these haven't been updated for two or three years and there is no guarantee that some of these will work especially if it's very complex. Like some of these, like this theme, for example, it's very complicated and wants to completely reimagine the Firefox UI to look like Brave. And if you go here, it even has a warning that, yeah, this isn't getting updated anytime soon. So while some of the more simple themes may work, even if they haven't had an update in a while, some of these more complex themes, if they haven't had an update for a long time, they may just not work at all. So you will have to test some of these out and see if they actually work on your setup. But if you want some specific recommendations of ones that definitely work, well, all of the ones that I showed you before will work. I'll leave a link to all those in the description. But I would just check these out and make sure that it's not too old. So see when the last update was. This last update was three weeks ago, so this one should be good to go. But that's how you can find a good working theme for you. But you know what? This is actually a good theme to show you how we can install one of these themes. So we are in the Git repository for this. And most of the time, the only thing that you will have to do is install this script called userchrome.css right here. But first we need to enable a setting in Firefox that will actually allow us to set a custom theme. So let's go back to our default Firefox installation here. And you'll want to go to about colon config in your address bar. You'll get a warning here saying proceed with caution, but we can click through this. It's not a big deal. We're only changing one setting and it's going to be a setting called legacy user profile customizations.stylesheets. So just search for this and it'll come up. And all we need to do is flip this from false to true. Now that is enabled, we can now import a stylesheet and change the theme. 
And first we want to open up the profile. So let's go to about profiles. And this is kind of like different users for your Firefox. Like you can create a new profile and have completely separate bookmarks, history and settings from another profile. But you'll probably just have one or two profiles here by default. It'll probably be something like default user here. And what you can do here is you can go to this root directory section right here and click open directory. And this will pop open a file explorer, something like this. Or you can also just navigate here directly. Under Linux is going to be in your home folder under .mozilla slash Firefox and then the name of your profile. But we're going to want to create a new folder inside this folder called Chrome. No relation to Google Chrome, that's just what you're going to call it. And go in here. And then let's go back here. Usually it's just going to be one file called userchrome.css. And in that case, we can open this up. I'll copy this. Let's go to the raw text document. Copy all of this. And just make a file in here called userchrome.css. Paste this inside. Save it. And finally, we just want to go back to Firefox and restart this. And as you can see now, it looks very different. We have our one bar theme that looks pretty cool. I say it's definitely an upgrade from what we had before. And some themes may completely change the colors, but some of them you will have to go into the settings yourself and change the theme. So of course you have the default Firefox themes here. And of course you can search for more themes on the Mozilla extensions website, but maybe we want this to be darker. So we select the darker theme. And so not every Firefox CSS will allow you to change the colors in here with the themes, but some of them will. But do keep in mind that some of them will just overwrite your theme right here and just pick its own colors. But after we finish that, we now have a pretty nice looking Firefox theme. However, the installation is not always as easy as this. Sometimes there will be a Chrome folder in here instead of just a single file. And since this one is more complex than the last one, there will be multiple files in here. And this user chrome.css is bringing in a whole bunch of different things like icons and a different style sheet for every single part of the browser. And there may also be a user content.css. So the user chrome file is for everything outside of the page. And then the user content file is for everything inside of the page. Like maybe you want to customize the settings page. You want to customize the colors of that or the colors of your new tab page. That's what this user content file is for. And so for themes like this, what you can do is you can download the entire thing as a zip file. You just click code and then download zip. Or of course, you can just git clone this entire repo if you have git installed. But for most people, you'll probably just want to download the zip here. So you would just unzip this, of course, and then copy the Chrome folder here. And one more thing that you'll want to do is you'll always want to read the installation instructions because sometimes there are some additional settings that you may need to change. For example, this one also wants you to go to about config and flip these settings to true. So do keep in mind in case something isn't working that there are maybe a few additional steps here. So always read through these. And finally, one more thing that you might want to do is you might want to make some small changes inside your theme. So this is my user chrome.css theme and it's pretty basic, but just as an example, let's say you have this installed, but you want the address bar to be a little bit wider. Maybe you don't like how narrow this address bar is. So what you can do is you can go to the profile folder here under Chrome and then you can just change the user chrome.css file directly. Even if you don't know any CSS, you can probably go through here and if it's well commented, a lot of these themes will have comments here basically telling you what everything does. And so in this example, you could change the base color for the theme. So for dark mode, it's going to be this hexadecimal color and you could just find the hex value of the color that you want and then replace it here. Or maybe you want to make the URL bar wider. And so you would just come down here and see the width of the nav bar. It is only 475 pixels, but you can probably bump that up to 675 pixels. Save that. You can restart the browser. And as you can see, the URL bar is now much wider. So even if you don't know any CSS, you can probably get into the CSS files and take a look around and maybe just change some small values to get the results that you want. For a lot of these more popular themes, there are even instructions on how to tweak some common settings. So it's not too difficult. And of course, if you do know CSS, then it is very easy to go in here and tweak things however you would like. Again, I'm going to create a full video on creating your own user chrome.css file later. 
So stay tuned for that. Oh, and finally, one more tip to make your browser look nice. You can enable this setting in About Config, but by default, the UI is going to be a little bit chunky. And in my opinion, it just takes up a little bit too much screen real estate. So you can come into About Config and enable Compact Mode. So you want to check this Browser Compact Mode Show to True instead of False. And you can then go into Customize Toolbar. And at the bottom here, there will be the Density. And you can change it from Touch, which is really wide, to Normal, to Compact. And I actually much prefer this Compact Mode right here. Now it says that it's not supported here. So I don't know, maybe in the future, Mozilla will nuke this option. But for now, it's still there. And I really like having this more compact UI instead of the giant wide UI that it had before. Especially if you like more minimalist themes, then you'll probably enjoy this setting as well. But that's really all there is to it now. Now you can have a much nicer looking Firefox. Because if you're like me, then most of your time on a computer is actually spent in a web browser. So why not make it look good? And it's just another reason to use Firefox. Good luck doing this in Google Chrome. So go and take a look at some of the themes that I showed here today. Give them a try and let me know which one was your favorite.